Look at that. Uh, I just uh, realized that's a face. Their symbol is a face. It's a laptop. It's not any laptop. You know, I wouldn't just show you some everyday boring. La is that a face? Kirk, are you disputing that I right now? Butterfly. It's a gaming laptop. It's very powerful. But of course, that's not enough, right? These days, you got to have some differentiating factor. Somebody has to look at it and say, okay, that that's cool. It's got a cool feature. So this one does that by adding a secondary display above the keyboard. Ninth generation Intel Core i7 9750H, 1TB SSD, 16 gigs of DDR4, 15.6 inch diagonal full HD IPS LED display, 144 hertz with G-Sync. That's sort of what you're looking for, obviously. Of course, it's got RTX graphics in there as well. And Bang & Olufsen sound, which I'm interested in checking out. You guys know I like to test the speakers on this stuff. It's very important to me. Ooh, unboxing experience looks kind of fancy. Looks kind of nice. Let's go ahead and yank that out of there. All right, cool. Omen by HP. This, of course, the gaming brand for HP. And here is that prominent logo one more time. Omen X. And maybe you can't look at that. Ooh, flashy red secondary box here. That is a heavy wrist rest. Bam, right there in the reflection. Make typing a little comfier, possibly gaming. Unboxing experience, quite nice. Very thin, in fact, considering RTX built-in gaming specifications. I like the design, look at this triangles going on. It's got a matte finish. You have a USB-A connector, Thunderbolt 3 in the form of USB type C, giant grill on the bottom my goodness see a couple of fans there a barrel style power connector full-size hdmi two more usb a's we have one of these extendable wired ethernet connections and then a dedicated headphone jack as well it's kind of like stealth bomber gaming kirk what do you say kind of into it a little bit kirk's kind of into it a little bit he plays uh overwatch sr what's your sr bro he, kirk would rather not say his sr What's the starting price on this, Will? Starts at $1,850. A tremendous power brick, of course. 230 watts. Ah, I like the design of it. That looks cool. Look how they did this, Jack. It's got a distinctive design. With a monitor hinge is right in the center. Very solid hinge structure going on here. You can see the controls indicated by this sticker in this location over here to manage and control that secondary screen. Also, you know it's gaming when you see the indicators around the W, S, A, and D keys. As you can tell, you need to know where you're going forward, back, and whatnot. We are in full game territory now. I just realized they sent the mouse over as well. Look at this thing, it has it has Qi wireless charging. So it's just charging on the mat. That's pretty cool. Plus the RGB love. And you just keep it all in the family with the Omen branding and whatnot. And the system is booted up and you're finally getting a sense for the secondary display here, which it looks like by default is reading out some of your performance stuff. You can see the CPU temperature. Actually, that's GPU utilization. Middle one is CPU utilization and temperature. And then the last one is memory. But it looks like, I'm guessing, it's, yeah, it is touchscreen. So you can also go in here and optimize your settings for comfort, default, or performance. You have your lighting settings available in here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is like, this is lit up in red now. Uh, Real-time screen mirroring. This is, I mean, this is kind of the, the main functionality, I guess. You can pick any element of your main screen, even in-game stuff and map it down to this display here. The whole idea of having a secondary display, I think the best way to think about it is, look, it's a secondary display. I'm noticing something kind of weird here, which is like all this extra space over here. So you get this six inch monitor in the center, it's kind of looks like a smartphone display, and then there's like all this extra space on either side, which is kind of weird. It's a wow factor, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you're just like, hey man, your laptop doesn't do this. You got your pals over and you're like, yeah, I just put, I just watch stuff passively. I just put the podcast down there. I just have the chat down there. Speaking on speakers, let's give them a quick test. We'll load up some YouTube. Not a ton of travel on the keys, but satisfying nonetheless. That Apple was sitting on all this money. A lot of it. Yeah, I, honestly for a laptop this big, but maybe I just say this with all gaming laptops. I'm like, where's the speakers? But like, why even write Bang & Olufsen on the box? It's such a lie. I can't. Imagine Bang & Olufsen is happy with or different places, that. Ireland. Do you think that's what Bang & Olufsen prides purposes, themselves on, Jack? Not wanting to bring the cash back to the U.S. I get it. It's a gaming laptop. Put your headset on. Get on with your life. 
But like for me, I'm thinking you got the real estate. I use the speakers on my laptops. I just would like to have, you know, a little bit of performance. Can we please? Is that okay? Do I have full brightness here? Let's get a boost on that. I do have full brightness. So it's also not the brightest display. Can I get a nit counter, Mr. Willie Do? 306 nits, according to Willie Do. Maybe I'm spoiled. I've been looking at a 500 nit display for a little while, burning my, my retinas, ruining my long-term vision, flooding them with blue light. Do we have some games? You want me to play it on Ultra? What can I say? I mean, like, look, we all know what this is. It's a gaming laptop. How do you make a decision in 2019 on which gaming laptop you like? At least you can identify it by having some differentiating characteristic. But honestly, gaming laptops have sort of become like smartphones where within this segment, it's becoming more difficult to tell one from the next, particularly from a hardware perspective where they're all performing at a very similar status. Uh, how are you gonna make your choice? I guess it's gonna come down to styling. And it's gonna come down to some of those special features. In this case, you get the secondary monitor and at least that's gonna let you one up some of your pals when you load up some extra thing on the secondary display. I don't know how useful that's gonna be in practical terms over the lifespan of this particular product, but it does feel high tech. It does feel futuristic. So that's worth something. 